The second series has begun. I wanted to start off, first of all, with your character, Elizabeth, because she... Um, we've always known that she likes to sort of retain a special place in his heart, doesn't yes, she? Absolutely. She was the original love. Sure. But this time she seems a lot more manipulative than, than ever before, <laughs> somehow. Yeah, I think I think it's that time that she's um, she's coming into her own a little bit. She's realizing that things haven't really gone her way. I mean, there are many aspects to this sort of thing, yes. aren't there? Because there's there's Francis as well. Isn't yes, there. there are, it's not just three people. There are sort of people on, on every side of those three people. Um, so it's it's a lot more than a triangle, I'd say. It's complicated. Yeah, it's very complicated, <laughs> as they say. I love how complicated life is for you, but on that, not actually on a TV, you know, sort of on-screen character type of thing, but actually you as an actor. Yeah. I looked down the list of things that you've got to do and the, and the issues that you have with them. It's quite a tough gig, this, isn't it? It's quite a tough gig, yes. How are you with one. blood? I'm I'm okay with uh, during really this, though. Well, a bit a bit squeamish, but um, during during the second series, there is a there's a pig's heart that puts in an appearance, and the <laughs> the smell was the main thing. To be honest, the blood was kind oh. of fine, but the smell on set that day, everyone was sort of clearing out between shots. So oh no, horrible! Grim, yeah. And the horse riding. The horse riding. Uh, great. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's getting there. Yeah, <laughs> it was a new thing for me on the first day, and uh, I sort of had to change horses about three times. So you'd never, you'd never got on a horse before. You never ridden a horse. You never. I once went on a pony trek in Ireland, and um, <laughs> that's about as far as it went. Yeah. Not quite pole dark, is it? Not quite pole dark. <laughs> but you, yeah. then you end up in some sort of thicket of trees. Did, yeah, yeah. Charlie, who is my horse, is usually very well behaved, and one day he just decided that I wasn't doing enough for him, so he, he took off into a thicket of trees. I managed to stop him. That's about that the extent of my skill. On a horse. And, but it doesn't end there, does it? Because there's lots of there's plenty of fight scenes, oh, right. and you have very good reason to be slightly wary of these fights. Yeah, we've we've got a brilliant fight coordinator called Andreas who looks after us very well. But um, about six or seven years ago, now I was doing a play for the RSC with um, George Rainsford, who you might know from Casualty, and uh, he just forgot to miss one night and punch me. And what comes me on? I've got a little scar here on my lip that uh, is courtesy that of George. Yeah, oh and he's God. got a scar, a matching scar on his hand. Bonded forever. Yeah, exactly. By, yeah. by scars. So the so the fight scenes you're a little wary of. Then, yeah. In the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I say, we're being looked after very well on set. Which is... um, the costumes. For yeah, you. you suffer too. I do every day. <laughs> So suddenly you get a glimpse into what life would have been like. Yes, except for I get to take it off at 8 o'clock at night and go home and have a burger or whatever. Because <laughs> you, are you on a, like a soup diet when you're in the well, clothes? Well, so actually, I am now. I wasn't before. On, in the first series, I sort of tried everything. I always had dessert. I, I was loving it, and then I sort of paid for, paid for having had way too much lunch with indigestion because <laughs> you just you just th there's no space you just can't move there's no space because you sort of all kind of cramped in or... so now i do have soup yeah i think the uh the, the the greatest thing for for you know us as viewers but for me actually coming from cornwall living in cornwall oh, is really? how yeah how how i went to school there and so i just really? just adore cornwall yeah, yeah. you've fallen in love with it haven't you? completely Absolutely. yeah it's the most yeah. beautiful place it feels like a real treat to go and work there tricky yeah. weather occasionally to film in oh thought. yes <laughs> oh, you are filming the third <laughs> series right now yeah yeah you're filming first so does it get complicated because then you come and talk about series two here and you sort of need to keep up with series one do you get sort of a bit confused or worry about spoilers and that sort of thing yeah it's quite complex there's a lot of story and winston graham goes through seven or eight books and uh, we're sort of in the midst of shooting three while two is being aired and one is still in people's minds yes and so it's yeah it's quite a lot to take on but um fortunately uh episode one is still on our player and yeah. you can catch it and there's a big recap of series one so, um, everyone can catch up. And you're from yeah. Iceland. Did you, did you take, and you took some of the some of your colleagues to Iceland to. I did. To... Yeah, this is <laughs> a sore point for me. I couldn't make <laughs> it. I was working. So. You are, yeah. Sorry, Luke. Yeah. Um, no, he was invited, though. He doesn't <laughs> like to. He doesn't like to hear about it. But yeah, we went just a year ago, just before we started filming the second series, and we went for a few days to and... meet your grandma. Yeah, well, we went. We stayed at my grandmother's cottage, and um, it was a, a magical night when we were all in the hot tub and the northern lights came on. Not, not the outside lights. <laughs> we're not talking about halogens here. We're talking about the northern lights. The real northern lights. The northern yeah. lights wow. were there. You're in a yes. hot tub, looking up at the With sky. With Joni Mitchell on and Prosecco. It oh, was like I, I understand it. right now why yeah. yeah. you feel yeah. so bad yeah. about it. It was incredible. I was very lucky with the weather. Well, wow. Darks on Sunday at 9 p.m. on BBC One. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. For more of the same, just click here, and don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. There's various kind of tones of the Cornish accent depending where you go in the county. Yeah. Um, um, did you, how much training did you have or did it come naturally?
Um, well, I worked very hard with a fabulous voice coach for weeks before filming um, because it was so important to me that we got it right. You know, it's, it, Cornwall is at the heart of this story and so many Cornish fans absolutely love it. So we really had to nail that and get that right.